Keith, new contract and now club captain. It's been some summer for you. Yeah, I mean it's it's been great. Um, you know, over the summer, um, speaking to obviously Don and the gaffer, um, seemed obviously keen to keep me at the club, and um, you know I was I was just obviously delighted to, to get it sorted and you know you know sign on for another season. You're one of those players now that, that falls into the, the kind of older category. Is it for you about showcasing, you know, the things to younger players, the habits for younger players, but also encouraging the players around you that are maybe in that stage in their career to be more of leaders in that dressing room? Yeah, definitely. I think obviously I'm I'm now the, the oldest in the squad <laughs> at the minute, so uh, you know I've got loads of loads of experience and. You know, I like to be vocal and you know communicate a lot in the training ground and on the pitch, and you know just help help my teammates out. And you know, I'll, I'll kind of always be there to chat to them and if they if they need any help, you know, and um, hopefully they can go on and you know use that. The, the older they get, they can obviously help the younger ones when they get older as well. In signing a new contract here, you know, it's the second longest spell you've had at a club. What is it about Ross County that seems to be the fit for Keith Watson? I'm not sure, just a kind of bit of everything to be honest. I think obviously, I think a big factor was obviously my, my wife moving up here. Um, she was obviously keen to come up here um, and that kind of made it easier rather than travelling up and down you know, all the time. Um, the facilities and stuff up here are great and just kind of the, the staff as well. It's, you know, everybody's so friendly up here and it's, you know, it's, it's a, a great club to play for. And, you know, it's it's been a pleasure. You know, playing my football up here for the for the past you know th three three four seasons. This summer was obviously one of big transition at the club with with Malky coming in as manager, and there's a lot of players that have left the club and, and some that have joined. How have you found working with with the new manager so far? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been it's been great. Um, you know, he's came in and he's you know he's put his own his own thing and, and brought his own thing into the training and stuff and you know the boys are really taking to it as well you know it's, it's, it's a high standard you know the, the quality needs to be good and you know the boys are really buying into it and you know that the standard the training's been really good. Obviously having Don there as well now as assistant manager back with Stuart Taylor that's great encouragement and support for Malky to, when you guys are on the field. Yeah definitely obviously um, keeping Don at the club was obviously a big thing he's been here for years you know he's a bit, a bit of a legend here and you know to have him you know about the place is great and obviously Stan coming in as well he's he's worked with the gaffer and stuff before and you know he's obviously what he bring you know he's, he, his own own staff in and you know he's 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 added you know a lot of knowledge to obviously to, to the training and stuff and that as well so it's, it's, it's been good. There's obviously been a lot of incoming so far this summer, more to hopefully come. Again, is that something that you can share with the guys, that experience of coming up to the Highlands and having to settle in the environment? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the, I think it's the four new boys we've signed so far, five, have, they've, they've settled in really well. Um, you know, they've, they're have they obviously new to the area and, you know, the, the boys have speak highly of it. You know, there's loads of lovely places to go and visit and stuff and, you know, that. 
the thing is that everybody moves up here has to move away from home, so it's a close knit group. You know, everybody's you know obviously be locked down. That's not been in COVID and stuff. It's not been happening. But boys going for coffees and meeting up and going for food and stuff like that. It's, it's just, we're just a, clo- a close knit group, and uh, hopefully that continues. We've seen in, in pre season already the strength of the relationship between yourself, Alex, and Cole at the back. Do you feel that's something that's growing in confidence in every game that you three play together in the, in the middle of that back line? Yeah, I, th- I think it does. You know, it's obviously the, the past couple of seasons we've we have sh- we've, we've shipped a lot of goals, and we, we really need to you know sort that out. And you know that that, that comes as well. We, we're playing together, and you know the three years have um, played together a good few times now, and. I think we're, we're, we're learning each other's game, and you know we'll get to know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and you know we'll be able to kind of work work through that. And you know I hope that you know if we, if we do end up starting obviously the season, you know, hopefully we go on a good wee run. We're defending well, and you know you know fighting and playing for everything. It's going to be the most competitive Scottish Premiership in a long time. What's your expectation going into the league this year with the Dundee Derby back on the table, uh, the Edinburgh Derby and obviously the old firm as well? Yeah, I mean it's it's, it's a very tough league. Um, you know, the Hearts and Dundee are both big clubs who, who have who have obviously came back up and I think obviously first and foremost we want to obviously stay in the league, we want to avoid relegation but you know it's, it's kind of the old cliche but we, t- we take it one game at a time you know and we want to obviously finish as high up as we can and you know we'll just like I say take it take it game by game and you know see where that takes us. In recent weeks we've had fans back in stadium. How big a part do you think that's gonna play this season? Because we almost got used at the end to having no fans in, in stadium. Yeah, I mean it's, it's it's massive. It's massive, you know, it's great, you know, having them back obviously the Montrose game there just just coming out to just just the fans, it's it's, it's brilliant, you know, you, you you obviously hear the shouts and stuff like that. It's it's great, that's what you want, you know, and there's nothing worse than coming out to an empty stadium, it just doesn't it just doesn't feel right. Um, so to have them back it's it's massive and you know it'll, we're looking forward to Saturday, well, even more fans in again, and you know we're, we're really looking forward to league opener. Within the dressing room, how how does the squad feel going into this season? Yeah, I mean the boys are buzzing. The boys are the boys can't wait to get going. Obviously, we had a, a little setback um, without breaking COVID, you know, around around the club. But you know we've, we've came back. Everybody's fit. Um, we've got a good result against Brora. And then I think our performance levels upped again against Montrose. So I mean, but we're in a good place. Training's been really good, and you know the boys are boys are ready to go. Keith, thank you for your time and all the best for the season. Thank you. Cheers.